Now you're live. Hi! I wanted to go live real quick before my in-home newborn session today and share with you guys how I pack my car, what I bring to an in-home newborn session. So since we closed the studio a year ago, I've been traveling on location into clients' homes and it's been really fun for me. It's how I started with newborn photography back about almost 11 years ago now. Um, but coming back to it with all the studio knowledge that I have now and how to find the light and it's it's a fun challenge and it's helped me break out of the box and be more creative so it's definitely doable to get a really great gallery and there's a lot of stuff you can do in a house that you can't do in a studio um, like capture the details of the family around the home and in the nursery and all that good stuff but we still get those studio style newborn shots so what are those like um, one thing that I bring with me is the newborn posing beanbag. I don't always bring this big one, so I don't need that for the session. Sometimes I don't bring it, sometimes I do, depending on how much posy work I want to do. But today I want to bring it, so I do bring that big bag. It's just a big workspace for me, which I like to be able to lay stuff out on, and so it's good. Another thing I like to bring is some faux floors. So these are from Intuition Backgrounds. If you're a vendor and I'm talking about you, feel free to tag yourself below in the comments so that people can find you and find your product. And if you're a vendor who would like to work with me or have your products featured in my videos, you can um, just DM me or write me a comment in the comment section. So I like the faux floors because you never know what kind of flooring somebody's gonna have. And for the prop shots, we really want something nice underneath the prop. So this allows me to control the look of the prop shot. So I do a lot of bird's eye stuff using faux floors. So I just bring one or two of these depending on the colors that they want in the session. And then this is my camera bag. I'll go into what's in my camera bag in another video. Then we have all of our props. So this right here is just stacked up a bunch of different bowls and boxes and um, little newborn knits. It's a boy session, so lots of lights and neutrals. Um, and I kind of pick ahead of time what I think the sets are gonna be, although I'm flexible with that as the session progresses. This allows me to kind of like pre-plan and pack a minimal amount of stuff. This box is full with furs and blankets, under blankets for the bean bag, top blankets for the bean bag, furs and flocotties for sibling shots and things like that. This, there's two older siblings in this photo shoot. So while I do do a lot of lifestyle stuff around the home, I also bring this stuff for the studio style stuff because parents still, they want that mix of both lifestyle and studio. And that's what's fun about being in a house. Next is the perfect posy. Love this thing. Oh. oh, okay, there we go, we're back. Okay. Um, but I love this thing. I could do a whole session just on the perfect posy. Um, so we bring this and um, then in here is sort of my gear. <laughs> Look how nice on location. I actually sometimes duct tape the blankets down on the bag to smooth them out because I don't like bringing background stands with me. Uh, I usually will have an assistant pull out the blanket so there's no wrinkles but in the foreground of the bag I will duct tape it right to the bag which is great. Hand sanitizer, newborn cloud pillows, um, I like all these little, these came with the perfect posy, so I like all those little posing elements. A reflector, space heaters, noise machine, two space heaters. It's usually cooler at clients' homes, they don't heat it up as much. Um, scissors, I always need scissors and lots of clamps and baby wipes and all that stuff. Um, so this is the gear. So that's basically it. Now I'm going to load this all into the car and we'll be on our way. <laughs> 